Hello and welcome to a video of the introduction of differentiation. Now, as you may remember, hopefully, um, having just done C1, if I give the graph y equals x, y equals x roughly, the gradient of that is 1 because for every one value across in the x direction, the graph goes one direction up in the y direction. However, if I was to give you the graph, rather poorly drawn, of x squared, there's no constant relationship that we know of yet which can give you the gradient of this graph. Now, one thing we can do, however, say that, I'll draw that properly, a point on the graph, let's take an arbitrary example of here, sec. that point there, its coordinates, it, coordinates are x, y. Now, if we take another point on the graph, say here, and we say that this is a small change away. Now, in mathematics, the symbol for a small change is delta, which is that. That means small change, or large delta means big change. So the coordinates of that would be x plus delta x. The original point here plus a small change in its value. The same is true for y, y plus delta y. Now, as you may remember from C1, the gradient of a line, so we could say that between there, that is a straight line, the gradient for that is y1 minus y2 all over x1 minus x2. Now, I'm going to do it a slightly different way. What we're going to do is say that y plus delta y delta y is equal to x plus delta x all squared. And that's from the y equals x squared equation. Now, as you can see already, we'll just expand that out properly. y plus delta y is equal to x squared plus 2x delta x plus delta x all squared. Now, y equals x squared in this case, so that equals that, and therefore we can cancel them out by minusing x squared, which effectively cancels the y. So we get delta y is equal to 2x bracket delta x plus delta x all squared. Now, we'll divide by delta x here to try and tidy things up, so we get delta y over delta x equals 2x delta x plus delta x squared all over delta x. Now this cancels down obviously and we get a value of delta y over delta x equals 2x plus delta x. Now there's a bit of mathematical trickery in a sense that um, we say that delta is so small that it tends to zero. So we say that delta y by delta x is equal to 2x plus 0x. And that gives our final result of, and dy by dx in this case, or delta y by delta x, is the symbol representing the differential of this graph, which is the gradient function, is equal to 2x. And if we compare that to our original function of y equals x squared, the observant amongst you may notice that if we were to simply times by the power and then reduce the power by 1, we get our differential. <coughs> and this is a standard result for all differentials. So we say y equals x to the 3 plus 4x to the 2 plus 4 reduce the powers and times by the new one, so y equals 3x squared plus 8x 
plus zero because that is a constant and therefore it disappears away and we don't use it anymore and that's a standard result which gives you the differential function of the original function so that's actually dy by dx which shows it's the differential you can say dy instead of delta y it's still correct and the example will mark you right for it and that was a rather hasty example of a differentiation from first principles